Today, brothers and sisters, we read from the book of St. Matthew, according to our calendar, today we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Seven Council that took a place in the year 7 AD 7. Every year around this time, end of October, before November starts, the church gives us a great feast to remember one of the greatest council of Nicene in the year 787. And today, because we read a special gospel from the book of St. Matthew, I took three verses that I would like to ponder with you, explain with you what the Lord Jesus Christ has said in this gospel. اليوم تعين للكنيسة بأحد المجمع المسكوني السابع كلكم بتعرفوا بكنيستنا في سبع مجامع ودائما بآخر شهر عشرة قبل ما يبدي شهر 11 من كل سنة الأحد اللي بيجي مثل هالوقت بتذكرنا الكنيسة بالمجمع المسكوني السابع اللي تم بسنة 787 كان أهم موضوع تكلموا عنه الأباء في سنة 787 هي الأيقونات اليوم بتشوفوها بالكنائس وبالبيوت وكيف نحن نزين أماكن العبادة وبيوتنا بأيقونات لكي نرى المتجسد ونرى القداسة السيدة العذراء مريم مع جميع القديسين اللي كانوا كما سأتكلم عن هذا الموضوع اليوم نور المسيح في هذا العالم the main point that the Holy Council spoke about, it was about the icons, the holy icons. Brothers and sisters, the reason we have icons today, because the Holy Council made sure to explain to all of us that what we have in front of us, the icons on the walls, the icons on the iconostas, which means the wall that separates the altar from the people, all the icons that we have in churches, the icons that you have in your homes, are there to prove that the Lord Jesus, the Son of God, became man. And through the Lord Jesus, we were saved. And no longer we worship someone that we don't know and we have not seen. Because we have seen the Lord. We have examined the Lord. We have tasted the Lord, especially us, in the New Testament, when we come to church on Sunday morning to receive the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus, our Savior. And also we see how we could be the light of the world, 
What do I mean by the light of the world? The Lord Jesus told us today to be the light of this world. And today, I will explain to you what does it mean to be the light of the world. The same way Mother Mary and all the saints, they took the light from the source, from God himself. And we have received that light when we are received the holy baptism. And today we are full of light. And it's up to you to show your light. It's up to you to experience your light. And it's up to you to taste what light is all about. Brothers and sisters, look what the Lord Jesus has said today in today's gospel. St. John, St. Matthew, chapter, four, chapter 5, verse 14. He says, repeat after me, and all of you together, all of us. You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. A city, a city that, is that is set on a hill, set on a hill. cannot be, cannot be hidden. hidden. Unto Nur al لا يمكن أن تخفى مدينة موضوعة على الجبل. First, the entry of the Lord Jesus and the city of Jerusalem witnessed the the salvation of mankind. And do you know also that the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God is also called the heavenly Jerusalem. So we have two Jerusalem. We have the earth Jerusalem and we have the heavenly Jerusalem. The earthly Jerusalem we received from it salvation. We received from it the baptism. We received from it the church. And from that city, the whole world was enlightened because the Word of God started from the holy city of Jerusalem. And today, each one of you, each one of you is a city of Jerusalem. Your heart is Jerusalem. Your mind is Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem is no longer a city that we go to, but a city that we live in. And we dwell in Jerusalem. And that Jerusalem, we receive it as Christians the day of the baptism. When you go inside the font, and the father of the church, the Abuna, baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And you, you're no longer a stranger because the Lord Jesus and the city lives in you forever and ever. That's why the Lord Jesus says, you are the light of the world. Wherever you go, whatever you do, remember that you are the light of this world. And what else also the Lord Jesus said, Repeat after me. Let your light so shine before men. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. فليضيء نوركم هكذا قدام الناس لكي يروا أعمالكم الصالحة والحسنة ويمجدوا أباكم الذي في السماوات. When people see who you are, when people get to know you, they will see a different person than a normal person that lives in this world. Because you are a special 
people. Why you are special? Because you have the light in you. And that light shines up on everyone that you see and you talk to. And that light gives glory to the Lord Jesus. When people see you and they talk to you, they're going to glorify your Father. Who is your Father? The Lord Jesus. They're going to glorify your Father that gave you the light and made you someone special in this world. And he said, they will see your Father in your light. Repeat after me. They will see, they will see my Father, my father in, in my, my light. light. Brothers and sisters, This light that I received the day of baptism, it will shine in a time of darkness. Repeat after me. The light that I received, light I received. In, baptism, in baptism, it will, it will shine, shine in darkness. In All of us, we have sometimes dark day, dark week, dark month, maybe dark hours, but not all. Why? Because you have a light that will overcome the darkness that you're going to face on a daily basis. You have a weapon and that weapon takes your darkness and moves your darkness away. How can I enjoy the light in my life? I will give you five examples this morning. <laughs> اللي أخذته بالسر المعمورين اللي هو جزء لا يجزأ من حياتي أتعلمون أنكم عايشين وبداخلكم نور المسيح مهما صار ومهما رح يصير والأمور والدنيا صعبة عنا تعزي نحن المسيحيين تعزيتنا هي المسيح لهذا السبب لأعطي أربع أو خمس أمثال كيف أنا بستفيد من نور المسيح من هالوهج اللي بيكون في داخل أنا كمسيحي Number one, repeat after me. I should offer, I should offer hope, hope when there is none. Did you hear what you said? You should offer hope when there is none. Why? Because you have all the hope. You have all the hope in you. The Lord Jesus is the hope. Don't look for something else to give you hope. You don't know what you have. We have the Lord Jesus. The hope that gives us life every day. يجب أن نقدم الأمل عندما لا يوجد أمل بالحياة 
شو يعني الأمل؟ يعني المسيح هو أمل نحن كمسيحيين كثير مرات بنوطي من قيمة مسيحيتنا ما بنعرف شيء عن مسيحيتنا بنتكل على الدنيويات كثير ونحن عندنا حل جوهري ببيوتنا وبحياتنا هو المسيح ألفين سنة والعالم بيحكي عن المسيح ألفين سنة والكنيسة موجودة ألفين سنة حتى الناس اللي ما بيعرفوا شيء عن المسيح وقت بيجي عيد الميلاد بزينوا بيوتهم هالزينة لحالة اللي هي ما بتعني شيء هي كمان بتكون أمل بحياتنا بتذكرنا أن المسيح قد ولد في مغارة لكي يعطيني الأمل الأمل الغير موجود عند الإنسان بل فقط عند المسيح We have people that don't believe And around Christmas time, or right after Thanksgiving, people they start decorating their homes inside and out. I myself, I'm not very big fan of decorating the house. But even though, for those who decorate and not believing in Christmas and the birth of Christ, it's a sign for me as a believer. that the Lord Jesus Christ was born 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem. The sign gives me hope that the Lord Jesus, our Savior, was born in Bethlehem. What does it mean, He was born? It means He gave us hope to live this life, to gain salvation, so we can be united once again with the Lord Jesus with our Father in the heavenly Jerusalem one day. So the first point is hope. Amen. Hope. Don't be negative. Don't give negative energy. Are you listening? Negative energy means you're not a believer. Repeat after me. Negative energy Means, means I am not, I am not a, believer. a believer because those who believe has good energy every day <coughs> they wake up with a good energy and they will go to sleep with a great energy because the best hope is in their life number two repeat after me I should offer I should offer encouragement, encouragement. When, when it is needed. يجب أن أقدم التشجيع عند الحاجة. Encourage your family. Encourage your kids. Some parents, some parents don't know what encouragement is. Encourage your kids. Encouragement means you are right by their side. I'm sure you do very well encouraging your kids to go to school. I have no doubt about that. I know you encourage them to go and get the best grades ever. I have no doubt about that. I know you're encouraged to go to the best universities. I have no doubt about that either. Encourage them to be someone in this world. I have also no doubt about that. One thing you lack, the most important encouragement is to teach them how to come to church. When they were little, You do not encourage them. Please listen to me. Everybody listen to me. 
When your kids, when, when they were little, you did not encourage them. You dragged them to church. There's a difference between I drag my kids or I encourage my kids. You made them come to church not knowing what's in church. That's not encouragement. That's not encouragement. You told them you must go to church because I'm going to church. That's a horrible answer. Instead of saying to your kids, we go to church to see the Lord Jesus. Repeat after me. We go to church. We go to church. To see, to see the, Lord Jesus Christ. the Lord Jesus Christ. Repeat after me. We go to church. We go to church. To learn, to learn about the Lord Jesus. About the Lord Jesus. We go to church. We go to church. To receive, to receive the Lord Jesus. Jesus. Repeat after me. We go to church, we go to, church to, learn to learn how to love, how to love one, another one another according, according to, the love to the love of our Father, of our Father who, art who art in heaven. You cannot teach your kids the true love. Only the church can. And our love is forever. You hate me, I love you. You don't care about me, I love you. You don't wish me the best things in my life, I love you. Because the love that I receive from this holy table is not the love that I get from my mom and dad and from my family that I live at home. This is another love. This is the abundant love. The love that no one can take it away from you. And this love gives you encouragement to pray together, to fast together, to come to church together. Because we're not here because we have nothing to do. We are here because we want to see the Lord and meet the Lord and enjoy the Lord. This is called encouragement. Some people say, Father, it's too young. My son is my daughter. They're too young to start fasting. That's not encouragement. That's being bad parenting and not encouraging to fast. Because if you're fasting as a parent, your kids will be fasting with you as well too. Mainly parents don't fast. Kids don't fast. Parents don't pray. Parents don't pray. Kids don't pray. Brothers and sisters, I want to plant today in you the real encouragement, the encouragement of love that we receive from the church on Sunday morning. شجاعة والشطارة مش انه انا اسحب ابني على الكنيسة وهو صغير فارجيني شطارتك بسيط بعد ابني للاسف الشديد اكثر من 60% من اولادنا حول العالم ما بيجوا على الكنيسة هاي النسبة اليوم هاي النسبة الحقيقية واسمعوا النسبة هاي النسبة اللي نحن اليوم عم 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 نواجهها بالكنائس تبعنا 60% من اولادنا ما بيجوا على الكنيسة يا ويلي من المستقبل يا ويلي من المستقبل بس أكثر شيء بتشاطر الأهل بيقولولي إنه أنا كنت جيب ابني هو صغير على الكنيسة هذه ما لنا شطارة أصلا ما كان عنده حل تاني لا يجي معه الشطارة بس تخرج من الثانوية وده تشوف ابنك في الكنيسة الشطارة إنه بس يخ... يروح على الجامعة وده يجي على الكنيسة على الكنيسة الشطارة إنه بس يتزوج وده يجي على الكنيسة وإلى آخره هالشطارة تعرف إنه دينون كبير علي وعليكم إذا أولادنا ما بيكونوا على الكنيسة بالكنيسة أنا دائما بحكي مع أولادي بتعرفوا 
نحن كهنة متزوجين وبحكي مع أولادي وإنه بس ما تعالوا تجوا على الكنيسة أنا سأستقيل من كهنوتها سأترك الكنيسة وأذهب إلى مكان بعيد لأنه لازم يعرف أنه الكنيسة مهمة بحياته I tell my own kids if they stop coming to church one day I will stop doing what I'm doing and I will not be a father of a church why? because I failed to bring my own kids to church forever don't be a parent that failed to call your kids again back to church encourage them again bring them home again because they need this building. Because without this building, I say it very loudly. I'm one of those priests that says it very loudly. Without this building, there's no salvation. Repeat after me. Without this building, Without this building there is no, there is no salvation. salvation. Number three. How can we light in darkness? I should offer. I should offer. None of you there in the corner are looking at me and saying things behind me. In your mind, you want me to finish. Guess what? I'm going to prolong my sermon today. I'm just speaking today about you as a young generation. Live the moment. Look at me. Observe me. I should offer kindness despite being surrounded by hate. يجب أن أقدم اللطف على الرغم من كونك محاطا بالكراهية. Doesn't matter who's around you. Doesn't matter how they are around you, the people. You are kind, stay kind. Why? Because the light of Christ lives in you. Repeat after me. I must be kind. I must be kind. Because the light of the Lord Jesus Christ lives in me. Doesn't matter who's next to you. If they, are, if, they are, if they are having a bad day, that's on them. That's on you. Your husband? Your wife? Your kids? Doesn't matter. Your cousin? Doesn't matter. Be kind. Because this is who you are. Why? Because you have the light of Christ in you. Say, I must be kind. I must be kind. Because, because I have the light, have the light in, me. in me. Number four. Repeat after me. I should offer. I should offer patience. patience when, when I am, I am surrounded, surrounded with, with impatience. There's a lot of people around you who has no patience. Every day. You don't have to count them. They are all over you. And they're all around you. But make sure you have patience. Doesn't matter what's happening at work. Work is work. Good, medium, patience. School, patience. Parents, kids, neighbors, patience. Today we live in a world that has no patience. Everything is go, 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 go. I have to go, I have to go. There's not enough hours of the day. I have to just go, I have to rush. You're rushing for what? Be patient. 
Life is great because the light of Christ is in you. And if you have the light of Christ in you, you have patience. And patience gives you better decision on what you do on a daily basis. Be patient. Say, I must be patient. Because, because the light of the light of the Lord Jesus Christ, the light of the Lord Jesus Christ <coughs> lives, lives in me. Number five. I should offer, I should offer my hand, my hand <coughs> to someone, to someone. <coughs> so, so they can, they can regain, regain their light. And glow, again. and glow again. Give your hand to someone. Someone needs your help. Someone needs your help. Give your hand to someone. Give your hand to someone. We live in the time of the time of the time. Everything for anyone. Give your hand to someone. Someone needs to touch your hand to feel how warm you are. And you must be warm. You know why? Because you have the light of the Lord Jesus Christ in you. Repeat after me. I must be warm. I must be warm. Because, because I, have I have the light, the light of, the Lord Jesus Christ of the Lord Jesus Christ in me. 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 ليش؟ لأنه نور المسيح يدخلنا. هل جفاصة والكلام مش حلو لبعضنا وسوء التفاهم ما بيخلص شهر وشهرين وثلاثة وسنة يدلوا الناس سنين زعلانين من بعضهم أخوة أهل أقارب أولاد الخالات أولاد العمات زعلانين ومفكرين إنهم مسيحيين مش عارفين نور المسيح انطفى وشمعة دابت لأنه ما بيعرف يكون دافي وياخذ نور المسيح ويعطيه للآخرين هذا بيكون إنسان ملحد مش مسيحي What is my job as a Christian? ما هو عملي كمسيحي؟ I want to ask you this question What is your job as a Christian? I'm not asking you what you do for a living. I know exactly what you do for a living. I am your father. I am your priest. But ask yourself, what is my job as a Christian? Repeat after me. What is my job, what is my job? As, a Christian? as a Christian? Your job as a Christian, repeat after me, not only To maintain personal holiness, to maintain personal holiness but, also but also to touch, to touch the, lives the lives of everyone, of everyone around, around you. Not only for the protection of the personal holiness, but also to the lives of everyone around you. Some people say, I'm seeking my own salvation. I'm seeking to be with the Lord Jesus and get closer with the Lord Jesus. That's good. I will clap for you. And I'll say, bravo, well done, well done. But if you cannot touch the lives around you, you're not a holy man. You're never going to be a holy woman. I give you an example. Father Yeronda Ifra from Arizona. For 25 years, he touched thousands and thousands of people's hearts. Why? Because his goal was not only to become holy, but to touch the others. 
That is your duty as a Christian on a daily basis. Not to come to church and pray and fast, but also to touch others. You must touch someone. You have to be an example to someone. Repeat after me. I must, I must be, be an example, an example for, someone. for someone. I must, I must touch, touch someone's, someone's life. life. This is what we do as Christians. And that's how people see the light of Christ in you. So they can glorify our Father who art in heaven. Repeat after me. I, I must, must receive the light of Christ and give the light of Christ so everyone around me can glorify our Father thwart in heaven. This is the message today. is for you to be the light of the world, the same way the Holy Council in the year 787 were the light and every generation, the church, still the light, will remain to be the light to the end of the ages till Christ comes again. And then we see a true light coming from the sky and we will all join him to go to judgment and on that day everyone will reveal their light in the front of our Savior, Amin. Sanaltaqi ma' al-Masih yawm al-Dayn. Mithil ma' al-Majma' al-Mas'ul al-Sabah kan nur al-Masih min 1300 sen wa al-Kanisi ma' zaladi nur al-Masih wa al-Yawm sanakun da'iman nahnu shuhur wa nur al-Masih لكي نلتقي الرب يسوع المسيح يوم الأخير يوم الدينون لننال النور الحقيقي في المسيح ومع المسيح آمين